the nature of the media really <coughs> is is the polarized nature of the media. It's always it doesn't matter if the if the debate is over as far as denialism is concerned. There will the denialism remains a very real issue. We see it still crops up here. But and that's the nature of balance and that's the nature of putting all of these things into the media. It's the same problem we have with the nature of power, and we talk about the nature of power in two ways, the nature of the way that power is generated, coal, energy, ESCOM, SASOL, and that power is directly connected again to political power. When you talk about the social justice side of things, we are divorced from power. We are the greenies, we are the social justice, we are the other, we are not inside the halls of power, political power, neither are we heard journalistically when, we have, when, when the other side of the perspective has to be put forward, when it, it's, it's that polarization. As soon as like talking about climate change, for instance, the business media in South Africa hasn't picked up on the issue of how adaptation to climate change can actually help local people, how we can actually kickstart local economies by decentralizing power, by kicking off on these sort of things, by, by monetarizing it, by, by actually making it relevant to people. Um, it, it, it has, it, it's always been an, uh, an us and them thing and, and as soon as we get into power it's like either nukes or big power stations uh, <coughs> it's that polarization and, and it remains and it remains that and, and the media remains very very conservative in the way that it reports the, the, the mainstream media unfortunately it is changing I think as, as, as uh, as, as you were saying now, pre previously, as, as, as you were saying, that, you know, that the media is shifting very fast. But are we shifting to a soundbite media? And, and the abstractness of climate change is something else we, we have to get over. It, it, it's so slow for us. It's, it's going to be one generation, and, and it's so slow to pick that up to make it real for people. It's probably more real for poor people who are exposed to the realities of water pollution, climate change, impact on the crops, then middle class, upper class people who have the financial uh, mattress to basically uh, take up take up that. So, yeah, it, it's how, how we put all of these things together and, and, and there are so many opportunities for alternative energy to actually make that change in South Africa, to actually, if we develop, if we had a government policy to develop alternative energy instead of like develop pebble bed modular reactors we could be leading the world in, in, in a very important part of technology but we haven't gone that way and, and I really I, I put a lot of that at the door of power and at the door of the power of the media and the political power and the financial power and where that all falls and that's where we come back to the social justice thing so